one. He goes for it all. How much? It's 37,000. It's your entire stack. It's for all of it, Josh. Every last penny. Frazier Man says a good question. How do you run it up from 64 to 1851 and not tip the one before cashing out, Rick? See, there's your stop. Who says I didn't? I, I, I got the money, and then I give money back. Oh, okay. I made fun of it, and now all of a sudden he's defending his style. I just... Come on now. Slick Rick's a good tipper. That makes sense. JD with the snowman makes it two grand. Ace queen for Pierre, so he is going to be interested here. Out of position. JD right here on his left, but Pierre carving out calling oh, chips makes the call. Like, if you're a good cash game player, you get the What's up? Call me that man. We'll get with Iron Mike Brady on how to do the next giveaway. He's got some good good ideas there. Skull and I just want to give away something, you know? You live and you learn. Don't give one fuck yeah. about ICM ever again. And then what's going to happen is while everyone's trying to min cash and ladder up one buy, you're just like, I'm going to win this fucking tournament. Yeah. You can have the next cash down. So and Doug doesn't believe in ICM. Look, coming up, one more is, page is, up there. Is that just not like the Diana Garner theory of like, you should raise your button range into the gun because everyone thinks you're going to be. It's, it's like, so. The, so the problem with ACM is it doesn't take into account the value of having chips. So right. it's like not future. The future game. Yeah. This guy wins a couple of tournaments. So who now. needs that ICM? I have like one of the best for records of anyone ever. Yeah. I just sample a one kind of a sure fucking, and I ran very hard. Yeah. Well, how big was your one drop? That must have been sick. Pierre with the check mark. Well, yeah. Two pair for yeah, both players. But I mean, uh, when I play online, I, every time I went to Vancouver, I always want some fucking big shit. And Doug doesn't give a fuck like about ICM, is what we just learned. Me, says, just win the Doug's tournament, he says. Who cares about laddering up when you can just finish in first place? Write that one down, Rick. Remember that when you go to Vegas next week for the seniors tournament. As JD in the blender, eights and sevens. That's no good. A very smart man <laughs> named Ricky Bobby once said, I know what he said. <laughs> if you ain't first, you're, you're last. last. You're last. Six raises, 600. One raise to seven. Two folds. I'm sorry, I'm honestly talking to him. Three folds. I was either going to form it or fold. I can't even get in there you for a fall. You know, just blows my spot immediately. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> trying to call him out. Pierre with the Cowboys. Big this. slick for a chance. Five thousand. I know. Of course. Five folds. Yeah, can I? Nah, there's six folds. You guys are about to have some <laughs> incoming on this one. <laughs> the beers You're are American cold. Series. The gaming talk has Definitely. simmered. Definitely Pierre. Big really slick versus this. pocket kings. <laughs> <laughs> we've actually we've not been getting along today. <laughs> we've been low key arguing about us all the time. One call. You didn't like that you have his ass a style. I want the last one. He wants the other from American. He's like that. Here's he the flop. Like kings stuff. versus Ace King. He makes king. a point that I could be bluffing everywhere I'm betting. Uh, he had a monotone <laughs> flop. Let everyone know, guys. Might be the yeah. This is his style. One call. Everyone has a style. Graphics are catching up now. Pierre was the one who made it 5,003. Oh, Jin just flatted. 2,500 now for Pierre. Not a good flop for Ace King of Space. He's wearing a cowboy hat. But Jin oh, will make that call in Sorry, position. Looking for the Ace of Diamonds, the only thing that can help Jin. Pierre not blocking Ace Queen or anything just, like that, so might be a little bit of fearful of Ace Queen. 16,000 in the middle. I just didn't do it. I just was like, I had the general stream. Didn't you wear one? I just had my husband give me a costume. It was like Sheriff hat, right? Yeah, yeah. It was an outfit. I know. Well, like, I thought maybe like you kept the hat. I went to one of those. I, there was one in Dallas. It was like a well known one. I forgot the name of it now. Pierre still going and for value here on great. the turn. Going for about one third pot. How much is he going for? Five steps in there. I was like, I can't do this. And she's like, what? Let's look. And I'm like, no, no, I can't do this. And I had to like leave and have a moment. I just couldn't be in there. Like, I just. 
felt too fake to me. I'm just like, what am I gonna get like a cowboy hat? Boots? Will Ging make a play on this Queen I'm of Spades? I don't, I actually have a turn. Tenured, I don't have any either, but I'm like coming around that I could do it. Now. He will not. I've been here ten years, like, gets old. away from it. Like, Garrett's gonna win boots. that. Twenty thousand dollar pot. You see this hair? I think I'm gonna go out and have some beers huh? with the boys is after this stream today. Three raises. I want to be famous haircut for sure. Yeah. Seat four folds. Couple for Ginge, couple for Pierre, a couple for Josh. It's really anybody's ball game. Ace King for Pierre. Josh the three better to three thousand. But he also wants to keep low profile on social media because right now he gets into Bobby's. You gotta pick. Yeah. Either you, you invent the Santa game or you're a little profile. <laughs> you don't get to invent the Santa game in the shadows. You gotta stand up and take responsibility for it. It's you a know? great game though. I think it's better than Seven Deuce. Seven Deuce is two one dimensional. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's always on the box. Yeah, right? Always? Always on the box. It's, it's 300, oh. and whoever followed last has to pay 500. It's just two one dimensional. There's but a 10 for Josh. There are some rakes that have ran all the sims with seven deuce in, in the in the sim and they and they're not allowed to play anymore. <laughs> so don't don't tell people you did that. Pierre it's, going for the C bat here. Nice. Yeah. Like, Gonna go small. Crazy. You either have the seven deuce or you don't. Not good. You need games like I like small blind anti. Yeah, that's more like the button kill. Or sorry, the, the small sorry, blind button anti. Yeah. The small blind kill. That's that good for the game because they blind it to fight. Yeah, they call it. The I like this. Three point five great, snap call from Josh. Twenty k <laughs> in the middle. Pierre fishing for an ace or a king gets there. What a world! Always so easy when you get there. It's a good game. Yeah. Little stand up action. Came out of nowhere, Rick. All of a sudden, they all rise. It's like the judge walked in. It was a big pot. You're really still, you're like way more likely now to. I like it after the first hand because you can. Pierre going to fire again. Since the last person ever got stacked, and then they. And this puts Josh in a world of pain. $9,000. One time I played a game where someone got stacked and couldn't rebuy, and we figured it out, but. I don't do stand up as much unless I like, you know, like in this lineup. Yeah. If anyone got stacked here, they're gonna, like, they're gonna pay them. You know what I'm saying? Get well, like, to your lineup. <laughs> will Josh get away here? He will not. He's carving out the calling chips, and this pot has balloon. This is why we play this game, because it's great, and it creates a whole bunch of action. Almost a 40k pot, five of clubs on the river. Give the check mark to the Italian stallion. Did we get it all in and run it twice? Is it not counting to say down? First board, right? Quarter. First board. Maybe it doesn't. It's good because it forces you to have to run it once. <laughs> what will Pierre do here? I'm good. I got a clock. Probably thinking that Josh has a 10. Maybe we'll go for something like half pot here. I'll go for about half pot. Something like. 18,000, something like that? Or will he just go for it all, make it look a little bluffy? Come on. He goes for it all. Six How much? It's 37,000. It's your entire stack. It's for all of it, Josh. Every last penny. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, the Lodge Live. On our way to 100K subs. Look at Josh stare down Pierre. 30, 35, 36, 36,600 is the total bet. How much you say? 36,600. This is great. <laughs> that wasn't tall. You know. What do you think, Rick? Are we paying this off? Are we losing every last penny? I don't think he's calling. Stand up game. Could be a jack queen type of holding. Maybe a jack queen of, of spades. Maybe Pierre's just losing his mind because he wants to sit down, pull the trigger, go for all the glory. Or maybe he has top top, the best hand. Pierre loves the non snap call, that's for sure. How many more times will Josh twirl the chair, scratching the head? The zookeeper? Should we call him the zookeeper?
We need a nickname for Josh. Josh is lanky, what Ragnar says. The pencil? <laughs> the splendid splinter? <laughs> Josh twirling the chair one more time. He's looks like he's got, with that chair. Looks like he's got bed head. Needs a dancing partner. Doesn't know what to do. He's on an island. Oh, he's in the blender. Piece of shit announced. <laughs> 74,000 in this pot. He calls us off. It's a north of 100K pot. I think he's folding. I think he's folding too. Chip dance right here. Anyone got a coin? Wants to flip a coin. Everybody else silent. Ginge going into the wallet. He has a coin. <laughs> Gives him the coin. Here. Oh. Huh? Seems like a no. <laughs> Seems like a no. Seems like a no. Heads or tails. Call or full? Oh, come on. I think that's, <laughs> that's a sign. <laughs> Call. Oh, oh my call. goodness. Oh my. Stand up, Josh. That's right. Oh my goodness. The biggest part of the night. What is it? Four, right? Four. Five. Four. Uh, seat six raises to a thousand. Ace King for JD, suited ace for Pierre, and JD wants Seven, to play for a little more. Makes it 3.3 to go. Now Pierre with the big stack. The boss man today winning all of the money. Probably contemplating a little bit of a four bet, wants to see how much JD is working with here. JD is fed up, so the four bet will not get through. Pierre just elects for the flat, makes the call to the flop we go. 7.5 in the middle. 984 Skittles. So what's fun to do in Austin? Actually, I've never been out here, because every time I come, I just stay go to the hotel. And then Iron Mike Brady, I need uh, a winner's name to announce when you get a chance. Oh, I was just saying, I don't know. It is that time. Well, no, I just, I, I'm not living out with doing stuff for There's a lot of other stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. There's like uh but food's pretty good. I would say it's as good as the meat. But uh six trees is like a big like yeah, six people get shot there often. There was last time I was here, like we go somewhere shot there. Last time I shot yesterday, J D with the ace well, high street, ace king is good. One in Vegas. There's like a good number of shootings, right? Win this hand. Changed a lot of ratings. I was told with my Uber driver that I should go out on Sixth Street because this is what he said the one I said. He said that the women here have a lot of money, so they're a lot more direct with the guys here. Oh, yeah. interesting. Um, so what's that do with Sixth Street? <laughs> on Sixth Street. There's a bunch of... Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty ratchet. It's like more of like a... Ratchet. Honestly. Ratchet. You know what's up? You know what I want? Like? It's like in rap songs. Yeah. Um, after this hand, we will announce the winner of the merch giveaway, and here's a big bet from Pierre. 20,000. Each of those chips, 5,000, folks. And he's going to win that hand.
We want to thank Maestro Matt Sweeney for being the executive producer of the Lodge live stream.